So at the Cardano Summit, we've announced a strategic collaboration with Chainlink Labs. Nikki Arias Singer is their head of blockchain partnerships, and he joins me now. Nikki, many people will have heard of Chainlink, but perhaps you can tell us a little bit more about what you do. Hi, Tim. Pleasure to be here. Absolutely. So Chainlink is actually the, the largest decentralized Oracle network in the world. Uh, so we essentially do two things. One is we're very focused on bringing off-chain data securely on-chain, so onto any blockchain. Uh, and the second thing that we're really focused on is enabling interoperability between different blockchains as well. So we offer a whole range of smart contract services. Uh, just to give you some examples, we're very, very well known for providing price feeds. Um, so these are crypto price feeds, so the price of BTC USD as a simple example. Uh, and we do that via a decentralized method involving a whole range of data providers, uh, a very vast node operator network, and allows uh, that secure price to go through to users. And we actually power uh, about 70% of the entire DeFi ecosystems. So we started off in, with crypto price feeds. And in fact, there's a whole range of other smart contract services we provide now as well. So verifiable randomness. So this is on-chain verifiable randomness, which is very useful uh, in areas like gaming and NFTs. Uh, and another uh, product we've recently launched called Keepers. Uh, so this provides automation and smart contract maintenance services, uh, very popular in the DeFi space as well. Uh, so for us, it's really about providing those smart contract services to users so they can then build highly uh, user-centric uh, and powerful applications uh, on top of platforms like Cardano. So tell us a little bit more about your vision and mission as a company. So for us, you know, we provide decentralized Oracle networks, but starting off with things like crypto price feeds and DeFi is really just the beginning. And fundamentally for us, our vision is really wanting to make a, a wider impact on society with what we call the truth, uh, truth in a cryptographic uh, provided way. And this can really be provided via advanced smart contracts. And we really want to extend out what blockchains and smart contracts can do across a whole range of industries and across a whole range of platforms. And our broader vision, uh, which we hope to achieve, uh, I assume many years from now, is really to kind of focus on building an open source standard for how this type of cryptographic truth can enable blockchains and smart contracts to actually make useful applications uh, for the world. So to bring it to life a little bit, you know, in terms of the areas that I mentioned earlier, uh, when I mentioned that ability to bring off-chain data securely onto any blockchain, uh, this can happen via any type of data feed, uh, crypto price feeds is just the beginning. Uh, it can e enable connections with payment systems and so on and so forth. But one example that might be quite useful uh, is in the area of parametric insurance. So we work with a number of interesting fintech startups uh, that are trying to enable parametric insurance in sub-Saharan Africa. And one of the key data inputs that's required uh, for those parametric insurance contracts is highly secure, verifiable, uh, and robust weather data for those to activate those particular parametric insurance contracts. So that's just one example, but there's a whole range of other really interesting data that we hope to bring uh, to platforms like Cardano. So you can build, your users can build really interesting applications on top of that data. Uh, the second key area as well is enabling uh, cross-chain interoperability. And this is really a framework for enable, enabling bridges uh, between different chains. And so this is something that we hope to collaborate with uh, with the Cardano ecosystem as well. And really what it's about is enabling a multi-chain world. So we're announcing our strategic collaboration, obviously at the summit this weekend. Perhaps you can just tell us a little bit more about why you want to get involved with Cardano's ecosystem. We have a tremendous amount of respect for the Cardano ecosystem. I think there's the, a tremendous amount of respect, obviously for the technical team uh, behind Cardano, IOG and so on, uh, but also for the collaborative nature of the community as well. So I think there's a tremendous amount of respect uh, between the Chainlink and, and Cardano ecosystems. Secondly, obviously, uh, a lot of this comes down to timing. Uh, Cardano obviously has had um, an uh, extended period where we've had uh, different drops of upgrades over time. And I think obviously the most recent is Alonzo, really about enabling smart contracts. So for us, this is really about the right time to engage with the Cardano ecosystem and really a coming together of what is a very highly technically able and powerful platform like Cardano and also bringing together uh, Chainlink, uh, which is really built to enable smart contracts via the, that off-chain data in particular. And what do you hope uh, you expect the community to see as a result of this collaboration? Well, I think it's important to understand as we embark on this collaboration as well that the idea of integrating uh, Cardano and Chainlink is a non-trivial matter. <clears throat> so 
uh, you know, I always like to say that when we uh, interact and when we complete an integration with a particular chain, it's a very high hurdle to meet. You know, we have very high uh, security, reliability, and scalability standards uh, for every integration that we do. And so just as a mental model uh, for folks in the Cardano ecosystem to imagine what we're trying to build here in terms of an integration is something that will enable, for example, uh, hundreds of billions of dollars of TVL to be secured on the Cardano ecosystem, particularly in the DeFi space. Uh, so I think that's firstly an important, important uh, point to kind of note. Uh, I think the second point that's really quite important as well in terms of our collaboration is that Cardano has a whole range of unique features that have been built, obviously for very specific reasons, uh, but that obviously are you know, key aspects that we need to kind of work through at a technical level. But we feel really confident that with a strong collaboration between the IOG technical team, as well as the Chainlink Labs technical team, uh, that we're actually very well placed uh, to surmount some of those challenges and some of those hurdles and actually build a very, very robust and highly reliable and highly scalable integration uh, between Cardano and Chainlink. And so what users can expect uh, when this is ready, uh, and we'll obviously provide updates as, as things progress, but really, a uh, two, uh, two-stage process. Uh, the first is a testnet that will be made open uh, to users to uh, particularly deploy in a, in a safe testnet environment uh, some of those crypto price feeds uh, so the users can start to figure out how those add value to the dApps that they're building. And secondly, once mainnet integration launched, what is very likely that users will get access to is a whole range of crypto price feeds, then followed by a whole range of additional other services uh, like uh, more esoteric data feeds, you know, whether it's weather data, uh, whether it's sports data or whatever it may be that's in demand in the Cardano ecosystem. And then some of those other services that I mentioned, verifiable randomness, uh, keepers, and, and perhaps other services that are uh, demanded by users in the Cardano ecosystem. Uh, but those will continue to be added to and, and as part of the collaboration. Nikki, exciting times ahead. Thanks very much for joining us at the Cardano Summit. Thank you, Jim.